Ladies and gentlemen, he is the recently signed Happy Punch fighter and is ready to fight anyone on the Misfits scene. Please welcome Fox the G. I like that. That yeah. sounds good. Happy now, Punch fighter. Now, listen, before, before we get into, you know, all the stuff, right? I just want to say from our first interview till now, right? The first interview I had with you is the most viewed on my channel so far. No way. It's most viewed. 600 views. Let's so go. Was, so I'm like, yeah. So we had to get a uh, part two going. We had you to. already know. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. And you know, a lot has changed since the last interview, right? You're with Go Promotions. Now signed to Happy Punch. Yeah. Right? Now, let's get into it, right? How did that all come apart? How did you get into the, uh, the Happy Punch team? I mean, first of all, there's nothing with Go that happened. Like, many cons my board, yeah. like everybody. That, it, it, that Nothing happened. It's just like for me. I was genuinely just, I, I was just chilling and I got a call from Keem and he was mm -hmm. like, Hey, you want, you want to join, come join happy punch. I'm like, I can't really say no. Can I like, no, of course, yeah. I have to, I want to help go, but I also have to do what is best for me in my own career as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and like they, they got to go and they didn't, they don't, they don't need me, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but like this is an opportunity to go and do some more media stuff, get some exclu more exclusive so I can know what's going on and make stuff early. And then sure. also be able to fight like alongside okay. Dean and Haseem and all these like dope people. Mm -hmm. so, That's fair. Nah. Yeah. Do you, what is it, you know, in the future Misfits events is like, is there any, I guess what's the best way to say it? Is there any way that they're going to implement you into, let's say like when it comes to having much prelims, are you going to get involved into that? Um, yeah, no, with with Happy Punch, I don't really know. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I'll do whatever they ask. Really, that's kind of like what I'm doing. Sure. They're just like, go do this. Like, okay, like that. Obviously, it's not like that, but like that's how we're. That's just kind of how we're doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm feeding. No, that's fair. Like, I mean, a lot of the, of the posts. No, phone. for sure. I mean, I remember what is it? One of the first. Uh, I think one of the first things you did for Happy Punch is the Twitter space where Happy yeah. Price Hall. That that was that was sick. I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> like Bryce Hall in the first one, just because of all the like I don't know all the shit that happened. I think it's just funny from like all it's the really news cool. and everything. Yeah. No, that, no, and even like what is it? Even even when like I had to like talk to him for like a little bits of it, he I'm not gonna lie, a lot different from like how he is. Like a, he's a good like, guy. Years ago, yeah. It's like that with a lot of people though. Like a lot of oh, people yeah. are like I I remember like the first time I went to a Misfits event because I didn't know this yet. I didn't realize that people like are in characters. So like, I think yeah. it was, uh, it might've been when I met Slim for the first time. And I was like, Oh, got you. Slim's mm -hmm. nice. What? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, it turns out they're all really good people. So it's, it, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's for sure. I, I like it when it's like, you know, it, at least when it comes to behind the scenes that they're at least like, you know, yeah. nice, like nice and everything like that. I, I talked yeah. to Uncle about it where I was like, I, I, I fuck with the fact when like creators are like really, nice behind the scenes and everything yeah which, uh, there's one creator i want to mention towards the end of it but we'll get into it in a sec right so i want to introduce so this is the second time i'm doing this segment right i did mm. this with unbear it went very it did very well on twitter at least right with you know both nna and unbear going back and forth and uncle pizza retweeting this segment so hopefully same success because we'll do it here all right so this is the one word segment where you have to describe these fighters in one word all right, it's pretty simple. Okay. We're gonna first start off with NNA Productions. Bitch. Yachty Gang TV. Talented. Talented. Okay. Yeah. Evil hero. I. I. Most wanted. Underrated. Underrated. Okay. Dakota Olave. Blue. Blue. <laughs> Nick. <Yeah. laughs> Blue. <laughs> it's great. It's funny as fuck. Nick Lamau. Rat. Unbear. Dope. Uncle Pizza. Pizza. Holy RF. Tag team. That's Tag two words. Team. That's right. two words. Yeah, that's, that's you know what? Now nah, you fucked it up there. All right. <laughs> end, end of the world. But oh, we'll eat sharks. Best. Best. Yeah. Dean Grape. Right hand. Right. Right. The right hand. Right All hand. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you're fucking up again, bro. <laughs> Birds, dude. My Jesus. fault. It's one. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I was like, shit. No. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. All right. And then last one, Adam Sala. 
technical. Technical. Okay, that's 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 fair to say. Now, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The first one, for the first uh, person I mentioned, I was not I was not expecting that rea- uh, that reaction, calling NNA a bitch right off bat. I, it was <laughs> I was not expecting it because some people would be like, "Oh, trash, whatever," right? You yeah. first uh, right off the bat, bitch, and I was like, "Jesus." Okay. <laughs> I mean, both. Dude, it's. I mean, you ain't. I mean, you ain't wrong, but. Because of I'm not gonna lie, I like NNA, but you know no, he's funny. He's funny, he's but funny. bro, like I don't know, man. He's just like kind of weird. Yeah, I'm trying to fight I, mean, for him. I I I told I I I talked to Unbear about this, but I'll say it to you as well. He's trying to like pull off the like sus. What is mm-hmm. it called? You know, like the sus act, like what Aiden Ross does. Right? Yeah, and I just think it's a little interesting, especially because of what his audience was before he quit all the three AM content. Mm. you know what i mean yeah it's just like that correlation i don't know i just thought it was interesting because i'm like dude you're first doing like 3m videos skit like you know you're you know doing all these like mickey mouse videos now <laughs> now you're now you're trying to be like you know just sus on like yeah the internet it's like bro like i don't know i just think it's really funny he's a weird like, guy <laughs> yeah man but you know it's, you know speaking more just you know because those are all misfits fighters right Mm-hmm. There was also on the recent event, you know, you it was in the UK. You and, you and B Dave, right? There's always there's this big debate, and I feel like I I've kind of started a little bit. I don't know, but that's <laughs> yeah. Side. And it's about the UK US food, right? So oh god, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you change his mind about the UK food because he wasn't on a fight camp, right? He must have took him to a good place. Did he change his mind about it or not? Nah? I can't remember if he was there or not. Me and my coach went to uh, a curry place, and it was really oh. good. But it's also like, and and I can't remember if Dave was there, but it's also like we're in Wembley, and like mm-hmm. this is what I mean about like places. Like you have to be in the right place. Yeah, it's it's bro, it's Wembley. It's like you're not gonna find the best food in Wembley. Like you can't be mm-hmm. surprised. He has to go to like if he if he goes to like a actual like town or like like a, a place in the UK where they have their own local restaurants oh, that's okay. where you find the food like so you're talking like family businesses and shit right exactly what i'm talking about like okay. yeah it, it's like if you go to a like if you get a pizza delivered in london of course it's not going to be exquisite and amazing you know what i mean mm-hmm. like <laughs> dude you know what's trippy okay so i i just recently came back from my um from my vacation in india right i was there for a couple months so mm. I was eating like shit in India. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest, okay? I was eating horrible. Mm. From the two months I was there, I only gained six pounds, okay? Which is surprising, all right? Six pounds, not bad for two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's obviously not great, but it's not bad. The first week I was in the U.S., first week, I gained three pounds just like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Dude, it's nuts of like... I don't know, all the like preservatives that's like in the US food. Yep. Is is just crazy. I don't it's know. wild. It's actually wild. It it's yeah. not pure at all. It, and no. you can, I don't know. You can tell. You can tell. Dude. Oh, 100%, dude. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Especially like I don't know. You go to like like you go to like especially McDonald's of like how they were. Like if you look at like the past 20 years with like McDonald's. Yeah. You know from like the super size me to where they had like the big ass fries. I forgot what uh, what it was called. Yeah. Um, fuck super it's super size. Um, it's like super size. That's what it was called. It was it's bigger than large. Bro, it's like only I. You know that there's like no, I've never in the UK ever seen anything super size. Like the medium yeah. cups here are like the large in the UK. Dude, that's what it was in India. The medium yeah. here was like the large fries in uh, mm-hmm. India because like bro, I was having McDonald's. I was having quite a bit of McDonald's in India, right? I, yeah. By the way, I've been there plenty of times. I know all those like like good restaurants yeah, in yeah. India for Indian food. I've just been there so many times where I'm like, dude, shit, I want I want to try like all the fast foods, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. dude, so like McDonald's in India, fucking slaps. Like it is no. twenty times better than it is in like than it is in the U.S. And it's oh, supposed dude. to be good here, but it's it's really not. Oh, I, I it's so shit. I'd imagine in India it'd be better, dude. Yeah, it's, not. Well, because well, like the one thing is like the only uh, thing is that there's like no beef in India. So mm. I only have, and I don't, I don't I don't have like any of the beef burgers, at least when it comes to McDonald's, I don't get any of the beef stuff. Yeah. I, I only get the McChicken. And like, 
ideally it sounds disgusting but like if you actually have it it's yeah, like, yeah you know what i mean it's like pretty solid it's good but gets the job done or whatever yeah nah like i said just overall like food over like the mcdonald's in india they even have this thing actually i feel like you'd fuck with this they have this thing where it's called a fanta float or coke float where it's you fill it up with like let's say yeah either fanta or coke and then you put like the what is soft serve ice cream soft serve ice cream on top of that and then you like get a spoon and straw and so you can like eat it with that it. sounds so fire dude it is so sick Ooh. i'll if, if I'll, I'll i'm not gonna actually no i was gonna share an image but not i'll I'll probably I'll probably show it to you after the interview. It's fu- dude, it's so good. Oh really, bro. I would, dude. Like I said, when I was eating like shit in India, I really mean it. I had <laughs> yeah, no, you know what I mean. I had stuff like yeah. that where like, dude, you 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 don't get this shit here. You know what I mean. So I'm like, yeah, I have yeah. to have it. I have to have quite a bit of it before I leave. And then, yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, hundred percent. That's one, dude. That's like the one thing, bro. That's like the one item I miss. <laughs> it's like that, bro. I swear. Sounds like, so I good. survived on that. But just moving on from the food, all right. Um, so you know, you back to YouTube boxing. I know, I'm sorry, but since last time, right? You know, there's been a lot of events since then. Yeah. And it's the YouTube boxing Mount Rushmore. You shared it last time, I believe. You said KSI, Jake, Joe Weller, and then you had. I think it was Salt. I think you had Salt in there. It was either Salt or Deji. I forgot who the fourth one was. Mm. Uh, I wish I could remember it. Is there you, is there any changes since then? Because there's been a lot of you know events. There's been the Creator Clash, Kingpin, two Misfits events since then. Any changes mm. in that list? Because I still put I still put KSI Jake. Someone who can get on there after the second Kingpin event could be Winderson, based off the audience he brings in but it just depends yeah. i mean he's that big and you have to like you have to take into account like even if he doesn't seem like mm-hmm. a big deal to like like for me he's not as much of a big deal for me but nah, in brazil here, bro. that yeah. big really yeah well i I'd, I'd honestly keep it especially if i had salt okay. poppy just because okay. i i'm not gonna uh, with salt poppy i'm not gonna let one loss change that Oh, no. And especially like, and I, I want to actually talk about this in, like in after a few segments, but especially like the whole crossover influencer boxing debate, right? When that's starting to get more, when more people are starting to talk about it and like the identity of influencer boxing, yeah. realistically, his loss to Anthony Taylor, it's not like, bad. it's not bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's, so, you know, overall, I don't think it changes where Saul Poppy is. Where I had him before is still where I have him at, at my top 10. Mm. So, it's like, I, I don't know. See, people people really take uh, Saul Poppy's loss into a big factor. And it's like, like, come on, bro. It's just like, it's like one loss. I don't, I don't know. Like, we don't, like, let's, let's, let, let's get away from, like, this undefeated bullshit in boxing. Like, yeah. you're undefeated. You're like, you're the best in the world and all that. So. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. But you know what? So also this is another this is another one I want to try out. It's a new one. All right, so you're gonna be the first to do this. All right, a lab rat, a lab rat. So we're gonna see how this goes. But so this segment, you're rating these influencer boxers out of ten. You're rate these out of ten. All right. There, okay. There's a, a lot of it from the last. There's not. Uh, I made a lot of changes from like the last one when you had to uh, describe them in one word. They're not all similar. There's like a few in there. But mainly, it's a lot more like mainstream influencer boxers. All right. Okay. So I want to see how you rate these out of ten. First off, slim. Seven. Seven. All right. Salt. Eight point four. Eight point four. Okay, you're adding decimals in it. But... I am. KSI. So no, he can't be the same as Slim. We'll go eight. Go eight. You see, wait, hold. You think Saul probably better than KSI? I would rate him from a box. If we're talking boxing, I okay. rate. I think he's a better boxer. Yeah, okay. I think that doesn't okay. mean that necessarily mean that Saul Poppy would win. But yeah, I know. Boxing I wise, he's just better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. I get what you mean. All right. Uh, Le'Veon Bell. Seven. Point five. All right, Jake. Um, by the way, when I say out of ten, ten isn't Mayweather. Like for me, 
I'm just this is okay. like for YouTubers, like out of yeah, yeah no, we're talking about no, we're talking about just specifically influencer boxers. Okay, then I'll give Jake a nine. A nine. Yeah. All right, Logan. Uh, six. Six. King Kenny. Eight. Uh, Dean the Great. Eight point five. Eight point five. We'll lead. Nine. Nine. All right. Uh, Raksu. Eight. All right. Uh, Gib. Eight. All right. Okay. And then this one. Also, there's just a little bit of history to this one, but Jarvis. Uh, seven. Okay. And then um, just two more. Bryce Hall. I think I forgot, I forgot <laughs> but Bryce Hall. Right as of right now, like a six. Okay, and then Winderson. Eight. eight. Yeah, eight. All right, yeah. then. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, from previous, right, this is where I wanted to talk about the whole influencer boxing space, right? So it's been getting very popular, at least in the scene, it's been getting very popular, about how the state of influencer boxing, you even talked about this, Wade even talked about this, about how since we're talking about oh misfits and kingpin and all that that we're gonna be and you said it you said this in your own words I wanna I wanna I'm 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 not gonna say it like in exact quote but, yeah. you said, but you said that you know instead of talking about which is a better promotion between kingpin and misfits we're gonna start talking about what the hell happened to influencer boxing yeah right. and I think it's yeah. a very important topic especially because we need to because obviously we want this to last for as long as it can at the end of the day right hopefully forever i i kind of doubt it but you know crossing the fingers yeah what do you think is like best for the uh, influencer boxing scene it's not even complicated people overcomplicate everything literally just promote your fights deji shouldn't be not making any videos whatsoever yeah like it's just not it's just not it, it's not the reality of it it's not mm -hmm. really acceptable and i don't know why we're accepting it we need people yeah. to promote their fights we need people yeah. to build excitement for fights. Mm -hmm. And that it is what it is. You just need to actually promote. We're going to have, we're going to keep having people join and we're going to keep having people fight. And there's going to be big main events. There's mm -hmm. going to be smaller events. The only yeah. thing that we need is good promo. For sure. That's yeah. It. Especially like, you know, a lot of people, they on paper, a lot of people are really complaining about Misfit 6 in this main event. Obviously, mm -hmm. we know like how it went the miss the whole Misfit Six event. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But like a lot of like people are like shitting on the main event, and it's like to be honest, right? We have to give those like we have we have to start building other fighters too, right? Because it can't be it can't be KSI forever. To be honest, no. And so and so far, it's like the only pay per views that happened in Misfits were all KSI events, and it's like there has to be that one guy that is that can be as big as like not not as big as KSI, but at least close to it. Where they can at least damn near sell, sell an event, right? Yes. And so it's like to take steps into that is, you know, like you said, promotion. It's promotion at the end of the day. Yeah. I think like potential, potentially who could be that would, would actually be Bryce Hall, someone who we were mentioning earlier. Yes. Bryce Hall probably has is Bryce Hall and then Winderson. But Winderson's a controversial one. It's a he, tough one because he's big in Brazil, but he, they don't really speak English. Yeah. Like that, he had a interpreter, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it's called, translator yeah, yeah, at the yeah, press translator. conference. So mm -hmm. it's like, what are we really going to get? Ex you know? Yeah, that's true. But also it's like, e even with the whole Winderson thing, I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw this, but it was a whole, there was a whole controversy about him and his like ticket sales where he gave it out for free. Oh yeah, he did. He did. He, oh, that, that was, that was like, that's official. He gave it, he gave it out for free. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, he did. So if, if that's the case, do you think you think Kingpin can you think Kingpin just after this no. are done type of thing? Yeah. No? Okay. No, okay. no, no, yeah. I no, 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 bro. The fact that you're in London and you and realistically like 80% of the crowd wasn't there for Gib. Mhm. Mm yeah, on, it's it's no, cuz that's that's what I was saying, right? No, okay. but that's what that that's what I was saying cuz I was like I was just thinking to myself, it's like if if that report was true, which you said it was, right? I'm I'm kind of scared about like what's gonna happen to the, you know, because I want more competition. Obviously, the more the more promotions that come into this, the better that the overall scene can be. And especially with Kingpin's model, Kingpin's model, it's it's not a bad model at all. They're good. I like Kingpin. I want yeah. them to last. 
but yeah, they need for sure. there's just certain it's techie, bro. I don't know how that didn't sell. I think the reason it didn't sell out with Gib, to be fair, maybe could be because Gib fans couldn't go because they mm-hmm. were already the tickets were gone. But yeah. I mean, I, I I honestly this isn't a shot at Kingpin, but I think if Gib is on a Misfits card, I yeah. think then he's a main event. I think it sells better. Because I, I, I that's just how I feel. I, I don't know. It could be too. Uh, the zone being a part of it, it can obviously help. That's probably it. Yeah, that's yeah. probably why I feel that way. Well, actually, I just said that, but then I also thought Creator Clash. But then Creator Clash has its own audience. So that's a little, Creator Clash know. is like the nerd boxing in a good way. No, I like it. Way. Yeah, but that's just the only way. I, that's like the easiest way to describe it. It's like the it's like the gaming side, and I think that's mm-hmm. dope. Yeah. Oh, and, and they're doing their own thing, and it's like it's 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 good that they're doing their own thing because that's that one involves a lot more like streamers, if I'm not mistaken, right? I like it. And, yeah, gamers. So yeah, it's like they bring in their own they they bring their own audience, which is like that's perfectly fine with like me. I think like I said, as long as it grows the scene, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, not nah, and that's the thing because because I, I don't want a history to repeat itself with all these promotions, you know, with social gloves. And I, I was gonna say social knockout, but they're gonna have a third event, I guess. I don't I don't fucking know how. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, but uh, <laughs> not nah, and, and it's like first it was like social gloves and how they couldn't pay all their fighters and he, and then now you know a kingpin if they're I don't know how much they're investing at the end of the day way too much it's yeah as I said it's way too much where like the profits and everything I I don't I just I don't see it I don't know I don't see it but you know what listen we'll see what happens. When all the when all this shit happens, oh, when after the after the whole kingpin after like the final round, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. I I don't I yeah yeah it's just crazy. I don't know. So since you've gone you know to a few misfits boxing events in person, you went to I believe it's what one four. Did you go to five? No, you didn't go to five. You were streaming that one, right? Six. Yeah, six and seven. So one four, six and seven, right? And eight. Any, I'm like, gonna be at eight. You're gonna be at eight. Yeah, dude. That all right, man. I you. Like I said, you got. I can't wait for the interviews that you do. All right, you got to get some. Especially if Bryce Hall, I heard Bryce Hall say he's gonna go to the Nashville one, right? I'm interviewing the fuck out of Bryce, like no, every like day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna post a Bryce interview every day. No, that 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 actually be that actually be legendary. Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna lie. Just cause just just cause of history. That's all. Just cause of history. But mm-hmm. you want to share any crazy stories about like out of any one four? six and seven that like maybe no one knows or you, you probably explained it once before but you want to say here dude I'm- it's like it's tough because this is that there absolutely are but they're all the things that pop up in a conversation about a person that i then remember and go oh my god one time this dude did this i think there there there's been plenty i mean there's literally uh i mean like it's like misfit seven for example it's just so many little things I can't even think of. Misfit yeah. Seven. I I heard someone say Q Pineda before at like the at the rehearsal. Yeah. Oh shit. So okay. I was like, I knew early, and I called B Dave, and I I couldn't tell him. But oh, I remember... Misfits Four. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Misfits Four, not Misfit Seven. And yeah. I told him that he had a he had an easy he had an easy fight the, on fight night. I told him he had an easy fight. Oh shit. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, obviously, the rest is history with that. That's also rest- crazy, too. They're, like, opponents now tag team and shit. I think, I think it's funny as fuck. It's dope. Especially, what is it, when, when like, Swarms had his, like, post-interview, right? When, when uh, B. Dave was like, I'm a translator for Pineda. He said, Swarms, you're a bitch. I fucking died. It was it's like, so it, funny. It was in a crowd of, like, what? I think it's, like, what, 10,000 people? DAZN, and they always have, they always have this for DAZN on TV. It's, like... Oh, I'm sorry for the offensive uh, language. Then there's B Dave just being like, he said swarms, you're a bitch. Yeah, I know. That's so just B Dave for you, bro. Oh yeah. my god. But what about I know Misfit Six, and you and you said that Misfit Six, it was very you were drained after uh the whole fight week from Misfit Six, right? Especially with yeah. like the whole uh Chris Avila, Waterboy, um Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a was lot. Gonna- it's just a lot, yeah. You know? I mean, how how do yeah. you how do you like uh, make with the whole? I mean, yeah, with the whole like Nate Diaz's team. Do you do you do you feel different about like Nate Diaz before meeting him than after? Nah, 
No, because I, 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 I've had the Nate Diaz experience. I find it fucking cool. I've had the yeah. actual Nate Diaz team. But, bro, I can tell my kids that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I came yeah. right up with Nate while he was fighting, like literally fighting with Chase and stuff. And he, Chase, uh, Nate, I don't think Nate knows me, which is good. I yeah. don't want Nate to hate me. I'll introduce myself to Nate some other time. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's like they're not in the – they probably don't – they don't actually care, but they're not in the influencer space, no. and I am. So it's mm-hmm. like I was treating them like – because with the influencers, whenever I talk to JJ, I'm always telling them, I'd fuck you up. I'd do this. I'd do that. With Deji, I'm like, you're fat. Ha, ha, ha. Jokes. Yeah. With everyone. B-Dave, I tell – you know what I mean? Every yeah. influencer, that's kind of how I am with them. Yeah. And I, I was pretty stupid to assume that Chris Avila could be that same way with the Waterboy shirts. I would have, mm-hmm. I, I, because from one side, I'm like, he's a professional, so he's not going to tolerate it. But at the same time, he's a professional, so he shouldn't care about it. But mm-hmm. he's also a fucking gangster. So, yeah. It's what it is. Dude, Stockton, Stockton for the longest time was the murder capital for uh, in the whole US. And like Stockton's yeah. like I think Stockton's like an hour and a half where I from where I live. I'm like nowhere near Stockton. Like thank God, but like Stockton, bro. Like just the people from Stockton don't fuck around, dude. They don't fuck around. It's simple as that. And oh, especially dude, this is the funniest thing too. I was I remember watching one of Nate Diaz's fights, and mm. when Nate Diaz is walking back and forth, right? How he how he how he does. Um, uh, my friend <laughs> like that too. No, my one of my uh friends' dads is like, bro. How Nate Diaz uh, walks, that's like how everyone, like, that's how, like, that's how, like, people from Stockton, I swear to God, just walks, just like that. And mm-hmm. it's, it's just funny, because when he said that, it, just, it was just really, like, uh, funny. It is. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's, but, it's really coming, yeah. Mm-hmm. The, like, at the same time, Chris Avila's team, I'm not going to lie to you, did, like, they were doing shit to me, like, like, they'd walk past and, like, say stuff, I won't repeat, or, like, flip me off and stuff. It's like, at the end of the day, though, like, I laughed, and I feel like sometimes when people do shit and then you laugh, it's because you're lacking, and so you're obviously going to laugh. But it's like, A, what can I do? I'm a kid, and y'all are, like, fucking MMA fighters. You'd fuck me up big time, mm-hmm. even if I was I don't know why I said I'm a kid, even if I wasn't. But it's also, yeah. like, they're not intimidating, and I was enjoying it. Like, yeah. not I'm not, like, shitting on them at all. I'm just saying I don't really get intimidated by people. So, like, when Chris Avila yeah. and his whole team walked past, I was and they're, like, like saying shit to me, I'm like, this is, like, I'm experiencing this, and this is dope. You know, you know what's, like, <laughs> funniest? Okay, dude, I'm not going to lie. When I was watching the Misfits 06 press conference and, like, whole Paul Bamba team and Chris Avila's team were going back and forth, right? Yeah. When So, when uh, on the Misfits 06 press conference, right, right when it turned to they were showing you guys the Chris Avila Waterboy shirts, yeah, and right when Chris Avila like, threw the uh, one of Chris Avila's team threw the water on Paul Bamba's team, yeah. bro, the funniest image of you you ever was like right there. Yeah, standing there, right, and you're just looking around, just smiling, and then literally in a split second, right, yeah, everyone is just going back and forth, and you're right there, just standing there, like I was just in the middle of it, like, dude, do you know the thing is, yeah. Anthony Taylor is a fucking legend, and I'll tell you why. Right. I was just standing in the middle of that, and a- Anthony Taylor, it was like a scene. There's this one scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where a mom's looking for her daughter when they're getting attacked. She, like, finds her yeah. and then runs away from the city. Anthony did that shit to me. He came over. Like, all these dudes are, like, fighting each other. I'm just standing in the middle like that, like a deer in headlights. Just like Yeah, no, you're just like... You're just, you're I'm just, like, looking, looking like around. That. And then Anthony dead. comes up behind me. He goes, nah, you're too young for this. And just grabs me and pulls me aside. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> bro... I'm really, really lucky that that fuck that 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 I will say that coach is nuts because he threw boiling water on people and it was just grabbing whatever water was next to him. I don't say did I not say did I not mention that dude? He no, the no, water I do remember it. Okay, no, was, I do remember like, that. Mm-hmm. It was a water bottle, but then later he grabbed fucking tea water and threw it on someone. If he threw boiling water on me, yo, I'm suing the fuck out of him because bro, it got every. I would have. Li- I probably still. I would literally be scarred from that shit. Like right now, oh, yeah. I would have scuffed. So like, and the DAZN p- person, it was just a cameraman. He got hit in the face with it, and he went to the hospital. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, nah. It, shit. You know what I mean? There's like levels to it and shit. Nah, that's just tough. So, also during Misfit Six, I think this is, this correlates in a way, right? Yeah. On a, during Misfit Six too, you also interviewed who's one of my favorite YouTubers currently, oh, yeah. the Dion bro. 
And listen, Umber talked about Jadion, and he also mentioned that, like, even behind the scenes, wholesome, nice guy. He said, uh, quote unquote, he's a bro's bro. Tell me, how is it like meeting Jadion? Okay, Jadion fucking in the hotel came up to me and said hi to me. He said, hey, Fox. And then we went out to breakfast with Jideon, bro. I had breakfast with Jideon. It was sick. My my Uber to the uh, event was with Jideon, and he was just talking. He said he's been watching me since I was at 10K. I was like, what the f- – yo, what? I wish I knew that. And then yeah. you know, we was just talking a lot. Even at Misfits 7, he still, like, comes up and, like, says, like, what up and, like, good to see you and stuff. And it's just cool because Jideon is very – he's genuinely a good guy. He's very yeah. humble, and he's always in that character. That trolling, genuinely, mm-hmm. like at the breakfast place, I'll never forget it. Like there was, there were people eating there, and he just goes over and just stands by the table and goes, "Can I get a munch?" And just like look, like looks at them. Uh, he connected to the Uber the on the way to the event. Gideon mm-hmm. just connects to the Uber Bluetooth and starts playing music. But it's like, I can't, I can't. It's a right. Ra- he played like a racist song and then goes, "Damn, like our driver's racist," and starts recording. He's so funny, <laughs> bro. Dude, no, that's that's funny as fuck. I, you know what? I said this in the last one too. I don't have like the notebook. I have like a little notebook of like who all I want to have on my show, and Jadion is like one of the dream people who I want to have like yeah. to interview. Because like I, dude, I have so many like questions I would want to ask him, and just and just like it, even especially like before he does like the pranks, right? It's like when he first started, did he get like very? Did he get nervous at all? It's just for some of the shit that he does. You know yeah. what I mean? Like going to another country, like this is another thing too. Like when he go when he when he goes to another country and gets arrested, bro. If it was me, all time I'd have my anxiety all at an all time high. From getting yep. arrested in another, you know what I mean? Getting arrested in another country. It's like, bro, like I like I'd be shit scared, straight up. So I don't know. I just don't know how he like gets over that, is my thing. I think now he's to a point where he's so successful he can afford any of that shit. But back then, hey, it's hey, different. Back then, that's true. No, that's yeah. true. If you, that's I mean, what you I'm gotta not, do. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's like depending on some of the countries too, bro. You you pay them a bag, dude. They they don't give a fuck. Yeah, legit. <laughs> like, that, yeah, just like that. But all right, I I got a couple more. Right, one is you know since Mistress Eight is getting announced on Monday, right? How do you rate this event out of ten? Or not ten? Sorry. How do you rate the event just in general? It could be out of ten. However, you want to say it. Rate Misfits 8 out of 10. Or not rate Misfits 8. Just rate Misfits 8. Just rate, uh, how is it on paper? You okay. Know, of all you Misfits know. 8. Well, I know the entire card. And oh, okay. This is the first time I've known the whole card before. It's going to please... If you're involved in any community, whether it's a gaming community, whether it's like you watch YouTubers, whether you like, whatever you like, mm-hmm. you're going to you're gonna be excited for at least one fight and okay. it's if i had to describe misfits eight in one word it would be the same thing that ksi tweeted the storm madness that's that's what i would call it i would call it the storm that's genuinely oh, perfect yeah Dude, You'll i see. know you can't say too much about like the misfits like a thing but is there is is there gonna be happy bunch prelims on on misfits eight or no because I remember, like, Keen saying, like, there could be prelims on the on Misfits 8. There might be. No. Might there be. might be. Okay. Okay. If there are, get excited for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. But. If they know, happen to be, they're really good if there are prelims. But I don't know, though. Yeah, if there are I, prelims, I'm sure that they'd be, like, better than the last ones somehow. All right. Even, even better than when you were cornering, what, Wings? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. If, I, if there if there yeah. are, then get excited because he always wraps them together nicely. So. Yeah, no, especially the last the last one, uh, especially the the last two fights of that uh, prelims, I was a very big fan of with Umber yeah. and then you know the boogie match, obviously. Oh, but, mm-hmm. one thing the main the the co main event could be a main event. I'll say that for Mister Eight. Yeah. Okay. There, there's two. It has two main events. That's three, good. three. If you're if you could count that on the on the other card, there could be a third. Like, there's just it. It's a good card, bro. It's a good card. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited for you know what all comes about this Monday because I just want to you know like I said, 
I want, uh, especially on a non-pay-per-view, right? I want, you know, other people to grow into, yes. you know, and obviously be like a main event on a pay-per-view and hopefully, you know, gets misfits, you know, just the profits that they need. To this, I think this could be that fight for, for one of the people on that card. You know how earlier we talked about like the stars? Yeah. If yeah. they do well enough, I think they're that. I think they're that. All right. Perfect. Okay, then. And then, you know, lastly, right, you know, is there is there anyone right that you'd want to see on my show? All right, you tag anyone. Give you Nick. I think would be cool. I Nick think you'd Lamau. have a good conversation with Nick. Yeah. All right, Nick Lamau. All right, perfect. Nick Lamau, if you do somehow watch this, all right, I want you on my show next. But anyways, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Fox, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to hop Always. on. The goal for the end of the year is to get to a thousand subs. Let's hopefully You're gonna cross pass, the years. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll, we'll cross it. I'm currently. What is it? You're, so far, since you know, you're you're technically OG right now because I'm at, I'm at 86. You're technically OG. I'm an OG. Technically, let's go. So let's cross the fingers. Hopefully, we get to a thousand by the end of the year. So please subscribe for more content. Yes. Just like this, and also Fox. You know, what is it? Whenever whenever you do sell hats, the Fox G hats. Swear to God, I'll wear it in like almost every video. Any any shorts. I'll, I'll, whenever I'll you go to work. that texas event i will literally have you decked out all right bet trust me bet, bet. just yeah give me give me that hat all right <laughs> <laughs> give me that hat anyways bet. i'll see you guys i'll see you guys on the next video peace